All right, this is grade three, module four, lesson three. And in this lesson, we're going to be modeling tiling with centimeter and inch unit squares as a strategy to measure area. So basically, the idea is we're not going to teach a formula for finding the area <clears throat> of rectangles. Instead, we're going to use the idea of tiling to uh, represent the way to find area, basically what area means. For example, if I took a square and I put it in a square unit, and now I don't know if this is uh, a square inch or a square centimeter, and what that would mean is it would be an inch going this way and an inch going this way, if this was a square inch, or if it was a square centimeter, it would be a centimeter on each direction, okay? Now, let's take this square square unit and I'll put it right here and then I'll take another one and I'll take another one and another one and the idea is I'm gonna try and without any overlapping or without any gaps I'm going to make a rectangle and there we go there's my rectangle and you can see I used 12 square units all together because there's uh, 12 of them there. If I wanted to count, I would see 12. Now, the idea is we could line this up on a grid, and it's not totally perfect, but you can kind of see that the grid is essentially showing that we have, and I'm going to zoom in here, that we have 12 grids, 12 squares on the grid. All right, and I'm going to zoom out again, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that, which is to say I could, oh, let's make it a little bit thicker, and then I could go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, right here. Here's my grid, I mean the rectangle on a grid, and if I moved it over, boom, pretty perfect right there. So you can see right here, there's three by four, which means I use 12 little square units inside. Um, but I also, over here, I used 12 squares. So I tiled these little squares, and I made a rectangle of 12 square units. And then you can see that they pretty perfectly line up right there. So in this problem, uh, we are told that each little square here is considered one square unit. We don't know if it's a square inch or a square centimeter, but we're going to so we're going to call it a square unit. And then what is the area of each of the following rectangles? All right? So the idea would be we can just count. Count the squares. 1 2 3 4 5 so rectangle A has an area of five square units, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So rectangle B has an area of fifteen square units. And see how I'm gonna I'm gonna abbreviate it. SQ for square and U for units. Now don't forget, I could have noticed a pattern that this is three units tall, five units wide, and three times five is 15. Similarly, I could have said that this is five units tall and one unit wide, and the answer is five square units. Well, let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, so rectangle C is 12 square units. And of course, it was four units tall, three units wide. So practicing our little times tables, we could see that four times three is 12. And then uh, last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And so we can see that this has 20 square 
units. A couple of cool things here is you can see your skip counting. 5, 10, 15, 20. Another way to think of this is it's your times tables. It's 5 units across, 4 units high, so 5 times 4 is 20. And our last slide for this video, it says each square is one square unit, write the area of each rectangle, then draw another rectangle with the same area. <clears throat> okay, so let's begin by counting. So we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this rectangle has an area of 10 square units, and we need to draw another rectangle that also has an area of 10 square units. So one way we could do it is just make a straight line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There it is. There's my 10 square units, one in a row. That's That counts as a rectangle. <clears throat> Teachers, sometimes students are going to think that that counts as a rectangle, but it does. It does indeed count as a rectangle with 10 square units. And then down here, we're going to count, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this has an area of 9 square units. And in order to make another rectangle, hmm, let's see, I think I'm going to have to go in a straight line again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is that it? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. So there it is. 9 square units. Of course, I'm going to go back up to this one. There's another rectangle that students could have done, and I'm going to squeeze it in here. They could have drawn a rectangle. Oh, let's see. I'll put it right here. That's two across and five down. They could have drawn this rectangle. Now, sometimes students will say, hey, that's the same rectangle as this one, only rotated. And for this lesson, that's fine. It could have counted. And that is Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 3, where we are using the tiling strategy to measure the area.